Welcome to NTN Nightly. I'm Huma Dimar. This edition stop stories. CARICOM adopts a marketing strategy proposal by St. Lucia's Prime Minister. The local tourism sector is poised for a major bounce back from the impact of COVID-19. And a donation drive by the St. Lucia New York Consulate benefits scores of students in Denry. CARICOM heads of government have drafted a blueprint for the economic recovery of the region from COVID-19. The heads have accepted the final report of the CARICOM Commission on the Economy, which contains a 12-point action plan in response to COVID-19. Central to that plan is the proposal by St. Lucia's Prime Minister for a brand strategy to better enable market penetration. Here's Lisa Joseph. If we could now collectively spend more money on one singular brand for the West Indies, that's how much further we could go. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney is confident that the Caribbean can derive more earnings as a region under a unified marketing brand. In fact, the Caribbean Tourism Organization, the CTO, realized this during two critical periods, 1991 during the Gulf War and the 2008 financial crisis. The CTO launched campaigns advertising the Caribbean as one destination with multiple options. The success of the Caribbean brand and the, and the power of that Caribbean brand that's been built all over those years. Many countries that you would not normally associate as being in the Caribbean now affiliate themselves to the Caribbean. So Cancun is considered Caribbean. Costa Rica is considered Caribbean. Honduras, Guatemala, Panama, even Colombia and Cartagena is considered now Caribbean. And so is that really the image that people connote when they think of Caribbean, whether or not, but they, they use that word Caribbean to help promote their, their, the image of their, of their country. Honorable Chastney says brand differentiation is important and as such, the Caribbean should embrace and build on the powerful brand already created by West Indies Cricket, the University of the West Indies, and the West Indies Rum and Spirits Producers Association. You can still have your national identity, so St. Lucia, West Indies. Jamaica, West Indies, St. Kitts, West Indies. It's to show you how it works, you can't put Cancun, West Indies. You can't put Guatemala, West Indies. You can't put Panama, West Indies, right? So it is a very definable group. And when you now start thinking of the power of that brand, it's not just tourism. It's the success of our cricket teams. It's the success of our track stars. It's the success of our entertainers. Um, it's all of the collective successes of the West Indies. And more importantly, when you include now the history of the West Indies. CARICOM heads of government have taken note of the idea and have integrated it into a common tourism promotion plan. The proposal is also included in the economic recovery plan for the Caribbean post-COVID-19. Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt is the Prime Minister of Dominica. We need to, to create you know, a West Indies brand. Uh, as was indicated by the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, uh, we are known as the West Indies. The University of the West Indies has indicated uh, West Indies cricket, and I think it's important for us to start promoting this, this, this um, definition of ourselves as the West Indies, rather than the, the Caribbean, which extends way beyond the, the Caricom um, grouping. Prime Minister Chastney says all sectors can benefit from the West Indies marketing brand. The diaspora, Honorable Chastney suggests, can be enlisted to drive the brand in their adopted homelands. The Prime Minister of St. Lucia is longing to see the creation of a West Indies music label, among other ventures. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting. Meantime, the local tourism sector is poised for a major bounce back from the impact of COVID-19. Stakeholders are gearing up to welcome the first international cruise ship since the closure of the sector last year amid the global COVID-19 pandemic. The country is in preparation mode to receive the first international cruise ship since the closure of the sector due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Royal Caribbean Cruise Line's Celebrity Millennium has indicated St. Lucia as a stop on its itinerary in mid-July, along with the islands of Barbados and St. Martin. This decision was made after ample discussion with local authorities. Doreen Georges, Public Relations Manager of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, SLTA, explains the strict protocols which will guide the arrival of the ship. 
Preliminary discussions with Royal Caribbean include a commitment that both passengers and crew over the age of 18 years would all have been vaccinated, full compliance to pre-arrival COVID-19 testing, and that tour operations would be conducted within a green corridor or bubble. Additionally, all persons disembarking would be subject to the standard protocols of wearing of a face mask, physical distancing, and sanitizing. Georges says the overall aim is to ensure, while the cruise ship sector can continue to benefit the local economy, the local populace is kept safe. A special committee has been established to provide oversight to the resumption of cruise tourism, which include the Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of Health, Port Health, St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority, Invest St. Lucia, Customs, Immigration, Port Security, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, St. Lucia Tourism Authority, and cruise agencies, Cox & Company Limited, and Foster and & Inns. We are enthusiastic that with the advent of science and technology amid this pandemic, we can prepare for a silver lining. Communications with key sector agencies have begun, with the focus remaining health and safety. According to Jereen Georges, the coming weeks will see increased dialogue with suppliers and operators, and the committee will hold regular meetings. The agenda to include the review and approval of protocols for the reopening of the sector, a review of the terminal and its operations, and logistics for excursions within protocol. From the Government Information Service, Huma Dimak reporting. A donation of 10 laptops and an ID card printer has been made to the Department of External Affairs to assist with its work from home regime. In a recent ceremony to mark this show of goodwill, Portfolio Minister Honorable Sarah Flood Bobra expressed heartfelt thanks to the government and people of Taiwan for yet another timely gesture to St. Lucia. We really, really appreciate this donation. I know that the staff had been asking for these laptops for a while. They had been saying that we needed to have these laptops. And particularly at a time when, through the World Bank grant, students are getting laptops, children are getting laptops, and parents don't have laptops to work. <laughs> so a lot of our staff literally had to be borrowing their children's laptops to do work. So this is what the reality had become. And so uh, this gesture is so important. The Alpha card reader, the ID card machine, again, you are upgrading what you donated before. You donated our previous uh, machine, allowing us to work efficiently right here and not having to print our ID cards elsewhere. And you're upgrading. Taiwanese Ambassador His Excellency Peter Chen, in handing over the equipment on behalf of Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, says it's their pleasure to assist St. Lucia's External Affairs Department's digital transformation in response to the pandemic. And today is about uh, better equip uh, to, uh, to combat the uh, impact of the COVID-19 and advance uh, e-government in your good department. And I also like to take this uh, opportunity to express my appreciation to Honorable Minister and your team for your long time support and assistance to my office, uh, no matter in terms of uh, our endeavor of uh, promoting uh, bilateral cooperation or uh, the convenience of our daily living in St. Lucia. The St. Lucia New York Consulate spearheaded a donation drive that has benefited students in Denry. More from Daniel Dubois. Scores of students from the Denry Infant and Primary Schools received school supplies from a donation drive spearheaded by the St. Lucia New York Consulate in collaboration with the Make It Happen Foundation and several contributors from the diaspora. The supplies, which include a plethora of items spanning crayons, backpacks, calculators, and notebooks, were officially handed over to the principals of the schools on Wednesday, 17th March 2021. The Make It Happen Foundation is very pleased to be a part of this initiative to help provide assistance to the Denry Infant School with this donation of educational supplies for its students. We know that the 2020 academic year and this 2021 academic year have been very challenging for the children, especially the younger ones for whom peer socialization is so very important. But we hope that this small gesture of support helps in some small way to make their journey a little easier. In remarks that were read on his behalf, Consul General of New York Alvin Landers 
the lead on the donation drive, expressed his gratitude to those who collaborated to make the donation possible, especially during this challenging time. St. Lucians, he noted, rose to the occasion with their countrymen in mind. He went on to mention those who were instrumental to the cause, Alfonso Marquis of the Hartford St. Lucia Lions Club, Raquel Prosper, Sally Etienne, the St. Lucia American Association of Connecticut, the St. Lucia Domino Club, the lavish crew members within the Hartford area, and the Make It Happen Foundation. And so I'm happy that the Consulate General in New York and all the partners in Connecticut and all the citizens of St. Lucia who, uh, who reside in, in, in the United States did lend a hand to put those beautiful gifts for our kids together. We are very, very pleased. More than 200 students are beneficiaries of the donation drive and work is ongoing on another. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Danielle Dubois. The value of water to our everyday lives is being underscored as the Ministry of Agriculture leads the observance of World Water Day. World Water Day 2021 is again set aside for increased awareness and sensitization of the importance of water resources to everyday life. This year, the Water Resources Management Agency, the WRMA, will work in partnership with the Department of Forestry to roll out its itinerary of activities, get towards highlighting tangible ways a citizen can support the ongoing interventions by the Agriculture Ministry to improve the accessibility to water and to encourage proper management and the use of water resources. Jason Ernest is the director of the Water Resources Management Agency. Right now, um in terms of uh, um, campaigns that are going on, we have a, we have a photo campaign in terms of uh, um, persons um, being aware of what's happening in the environment, sending photos to us, so it's like a photo competition. Um, we have a panel discussion that is, um, is going to be upcoming um, later, later this week. We do the, um, the normal um, press releases. Um, that's um, one of the activities that we have. Mr. Ernest says the placement of the World Water Day observation on the calendar each year is timely for St. Lucians as it gives us an opportunity to reflect and to make adjustments to our behaviors and habits as it relates to the use of water. It's, uh, it, it's very fitting, very timely for us in this region because right now we're actually in the middle of the dry season. So it's an opportunity to let persons know at this time of year, you know, when we have the drought like conditions, you know, the dryness, that um, the, the water resources may be affected in, the, um, in, in, in terms of the availability, you know, to, to, to consumers. So I think it's a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a time where persons need to take that into consideration and we move into some kind of conservation measures. The theme for World Water Day 2021 is value in water. According to the United Nations, the value of water is about much more than its price. This day is celebrated keeping in line with Sustainable Development Goal number 6, which is aimed at achieving water and sanitation for all by 2030. From the Information Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Amanda Fay-Clark reporting. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Novella Quiol. Pour une précaution, et fait tout ça au ni pour faire pour sauver de l'eau. Laver bagay sale à dans un bassin de l'eau, pas quitter de l'eau à couille. Aussi, pas quitter de l'eau à couille, l'air ou cachoué pan. Si toilette bol ou ka kole, ou ni pour mettre ten en di de bac la. Toilette bol la, ka kole, si ou ka wè kole à de bol la avant ou flush li. Un toilette bol ki ka kole, ka gaspille un chai glo. Servi un bon pito en rose pour laver motoka. Le ou ka lave had, servi de l'eau wè sea pour ouze fle ou. Le ou sauve de l'eau, ou ka bese manière ou ka servi tepe ou an man. Sauve de l'eau tout le ou ni an chance. Ek chorje, tout de l'eau est content. Ça, c'est en commission Rodwasco. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Equiole. Merci, Ota. Remo? Monsieur, Madame, département qui est responsable pour l'information en gouvernement cette ci GIS, et télévision nationale PIA NTN, Capacito Nouvelle Equiole, Capacito Primus Hutchinson.
Pays et le si, kapwe pare, ou bien veni anko, bato touris international, ou depi tan sekta sa la femme a ozelta di mouve maladi korona. Sa ka fet apwe diskisyon, konsiderabman, epi les autorite an peye. Royal Caribbean, jam outwe, latewe, pou sekte industri touristik, wetoune, a set le si, apwe yon lani. Bato touris celebrity millennium, ka y vizite set le si, premye. An komansman voyaj pou sezon touristik sa la, ek apwe kay pati pou destinasyon an fasat sout kawib la. Sa se, se maten, ek babad. A pami se diskisyon ki les autorite te chen epi Royal Caribbean, se te pou bay komitman ki ni se pasaje e travaye ki a ho 18 an te kay touve vaksine. Ek yo kay sa vizite selman le vionman ki nati wel plas dele agrikol, le fowe, ek kote djemoun pa ka komble. A pa di sa, tout moun ki ka y debache, ka y ni pou pote mas a soufi jay, obeyi si spye distans sosyal, ek osi sanitaiz. Objektif la, se pou pou fe asiwe ki, pa dan sekte bato touristik ka kontone, pou pou tuwe yon servis an benefis ekonomi set isi, i osi nesese pou fe asiwe ki populasyon pe ya touve bon proteksyon. Yon komite spesyal jan plas pou founi se divers djid ki nesese pou le operasyon sektè touristik komanse. An pa min se ajans ki ka formi komite sa la, se minister des afè touristik, minister de sante, slaspa, organizasyon polis pe ya, autorite des afè touristik aset le si an pa min lor. Minister la ki ni responsabilite pou afè touristik aset le si, la se onewab Dominic Fede, deklawe ki itwe eksite ki prezans teknoloji ek siyans an ba pandemi korona sa la, i ka wè yon gwan klete, i ajoute ki absans sekte bato touristik te brutalize sekte touristik la, ou li wong la te ya, ek se te si pati pes diferan, kote pep pe ya ja soufè otan. Alo, minis fe de di ki, yo ka anspe pou sekte bato touristik la, wetoune, an ba wè ki, ou kai wè tou bon man, pou fè asiwe, Sekte touristik la viwe fè gwan seksi. A se te si. Gouvernman se te si ka kontine pou asiste fama en be le kiltivate pe ya pou ende yo kontine pou opwe an ba pez maladi korona. An ba wè ki ka gouverne resilience kont desas ek chèjman de kliman la jani apel pou fè avelab 800 tan glo pou se komin ki plis ni bizen yo ek osi servis publik, ki tuwe nesese pou asyewe ki la ni sekewite pou dlo di wanyon de zas. Nan ne pase, plizye le eglize, organizasyon ki pa ka opwe pou fe pou fi, sa se NGO, ek lot organizasyon duwe 380 tan glo. Selon chef de zafè ekonomi, a minister de developman ekonomik, Tommy Descat, di ki a efo pou asiste direksyon sa la, yo wè te nesese pou loji la men pou minister de agrikol, kote plizye fama ek lot ajans, ek organizasyon kwe benefis sa la. E di ki, sa kay e de kont situasyon de zas yon, yon an se kiltevate a, ki touve asistans sa la, se Kanisha Arnold. E felicite de gwe asistans sa la, ek di ki, sa kay e de yi an pil, pou ochip e dan wey, ek kay pou li primeye. An palan de sa, Pou obzovans jounè de dlo global, sa vle di obzovans an tout la te a. Ajans pou menajman dlo an set le si, a jimnaj e pe departman le fowe, ka y travay aso divers aktivite pou fè le sitwayen ou kouan e pi manye yo pe sipote e fò ministè de agrikol pou empouve aso manye pou touve servis dlo e pou enkouaje pli me menajman wisous dlo an set le si. Direkte pou ajans sa la, Jason Ernest de ki Obzovans la, chak lane, se pou ende le sitwayen set le si, pou weflechi, ek fè sete wanjman, an manye yo ka servid lo. Asistans chef poli set le si, Milton Dezi, ka kontine pou konseye ek enkouaje set le si, pou obzove e woy ek obeyi se protokol pou proteksyon kont maladi korona. Di mwen komizasyon epi nouvel ak koyol, Mise Dezi fè kopon, Se pa yon chaye ki ka forse piason pou ka sevi yon mas a soufi jay, la vi la men, sanitaiz, ek chen sispye distans. Mwot yon alot. Asistan chef polis la fe kopon ki 
C'est ça seulement que vous avez pour faire. Parce que ça va faire facile pour tout le monde. C'est le désir. Si tout le monde suit ces règles, là, nous tous les gens plus espoir et confiance que la gens plus protection, plus les gens qui savent qu'ils préserver la famille la famille et le public, là, à cette ci Et cette ci qui savent à bout de la pandémie de corona. Mais ils ont aussi dit que si après tout ça, les gens continuent continue à désobéir, la police n'a pas une pièce de choix pour obliger à faire ce qu'ils méritent de faire. Donc, so, pour faire ça, vous um, ne pouvez pas um, pou, pou 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 faire ça, vous ne pouvez pas faire ça, vous ne pouvez pas faire ça. Vous pouvez faire ça, vous pouvez faire ça, marcher bien. Um, mais, moi, c'est un style de monde. Si vous ne pouvez pas faire ça, 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 vous ne pouvez pas faire ça. Et là, vous ne pouvez pas faire ça, vous ne pouvez pas faire ça, vous ne pouvez pas faire ça, vous ne pouvez pas faire ça ou quand il y a la police à la porte, ou quand il y a la police derrière, ou so, um, ça avoid ces polices là pas faire ça ou, ou ni pour, juste faire ça ou si posé faire, et puis pas faire ça ou pas ni pour faire. De pour faire ça, nous pas ni pièce problème. Ça c'était la voix, ah ben, ça c'était assistant chef police, ça si, c'est M. Milton Daisy, et c'est comme ça nous avons une nouvelle nous avons dit, monsieur, madame, nous avons mis autant pour qu'à regarder, nous avons une invitation, pour que je ne puisse pas considérer qu'on se veut la vie. Monsieur Peel Primus, that brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You could also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I'm Huma Dimong. <laughs>